Sony is no stranger to some of the worst posters imaginable on this side of the multiverse. So it's really surprising when we actually get something decent. And it's super surprising when we get something that's absolutely masterful, which we're going to talk about today. This poster. In my opinion, the best one so far. And also outrage in regards to the shortened preview that will be shown for the film instead of the full film. Okay, so before we get to the angry self-entitled people, let's talk about this poster. So what can I say besides it's my absolute favorite one? And I think it's very evident on why this is my favorite one. It's not clustered. It looks good. It makes you focused on the exact part that they want your eyes to be focused on, which is everything Peter Parker is facing and he feels defeated. This poster automatically tells you the mood, what he's feeling, and what he has to fight against. It is absolutely perfect. All you have to do is see this image and you know exactly what it's conveying. It's not a mess of useless PNGs and stock images. It's quite obviously New York. You have it right there. You see exactly what they want you to know. I love the extra neon lighting and the way it lights up New York. If you've ever been in New York City at night, you know what I'm talking about. It looks magical. I can't explain it. Like, the movies, how you see it, how it looks, how Times Square looks, that's how it is. I love that that's very much here. So this, in my opinion, is awesome. Great poster. Now let's talk about the review, the scandal. What are they hiding? Okay, let me put on my uh, reviewer. <clears throat> they must be up to something quite clearly because they don't want to show us the most important people on the planet, the reviewers. The people working for outlets, they don't want to show us the entire film. Therefore, it must be bad. We deserve to see it because we work in such high places of power that whatever we say matters. It carries all the weight. We're influencers, you know. We influence things. We are the most important people. And if we say it's good, it's good. People listen to us. That's what we are. Influencers. A bunch of self-entitled people that largely don't matter and nobody cares okay god damn. why are people why are other youtubers why are people in these outlets acting like that they are bigger than anybody out there we're all people that make youtube videos or write articles for blogs and fan sites okay stop being self-entitled stop thinking that you're some sort of center of the universe stop taking it out on the people pretending like they're somehow insulting you because they don't want you going out there and being one of these complete a-holes that's going to see the film and the first thing they do is completely spoil the ending of the film on your personal twitter because you're self-entitled and you want to share that stupid clout they're doing it because that's what you've done every other time and they don't want you to ruin this for other people that's why they're doing this and at this point i know how it goes so look the moment anything is out it's spoiled, all right? Like, you have the main headline on IGN. You won't believe this secret cameo in Avengers Infinity War. And their thumbnail was the Red Skull. Five days before the film came out. You work for IGN, or you're one of these influencers on YouTube. Some schmuck like me, okay? We're just doing this out of the love for it, and we get to make some money. Stop being self-entitled. Stop thinking that the world and these companies owe you something. And just enjoy it. Nobody owes you anything literally nothing oh but i don't get to give my opinion good who cares give your opinion when you finally see the film and stop trying to twist this like you're somehow being personally attacked good god well it's been a while since i've done a good rant till next time